Hello everyone, here is another video for OrgTube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain synthesis of ketone by reaction between nitriles and Grignard reagent. This is a generic equation for reaction between nitrile and Grignard reagent. This nitrile group converts to the carbonyl group at the end and these are an R prime from nitrile and from Grignard reagent they will be the groups for our ketone so this is the generic reaction first I'm going to explain the mechanism then we will have uh, some examples the first step of this reaction R group and Grignard we know it has negative charge and is a strong nucleophile it can attack to this carbon and nitrile group which is partially positive so addition of this group to the nitrile push one of these pi bonds to the nitrogen so for first step we have R then we have C double bond N negative and then we have R prime group on the other side and of course this MGBR positive will be there as well so this reaction has two steps. Step one, addition of Grignard. In step two, we need to neutralize the mixture by addition of aqueous acidic solution or H3O positive. By addition of the acidic solution, this nitrogen take one hydrogen from H3O positive and convert to RC double bond NH. Because this nitrogen is basic, so this nitrogen can take one hydrogen from hydronium ion and converts to NH2 positive plus water. So right now this water molecule can attack to this positive carbon and push this pi bond to the nitrogen and converts to this intermediate. Then this group is basic and this group is acidic. Then we have a proton transfer or hydrogen transfer inside the molecule. Then we have RC NH3 positive then this NH3 positive group right now it is a good living group and oxygen can attack to the carbon and expelling the NH3 group as a result we have C double bond OH positive and at the very end this hydrogen can be separated by another water molecule or NH3 so we have the protonation and at the very end, we have the ketone. So this is the mechanism for this reaction. But for writing the product, we don't need to go through this mechanism. Let's see how we can answer the question when we want to write the product. Here is the first example. For writing the product, first we need to convert this nitrile group to the carbonyl group. Then we put this group on one side and we put this group from Grignard on another side. So on the left side, I'm going to put CH3 and on the right side, I'm going to put cyclopentyl. This is how we can answer the question. Here is a second example. So you are going to have the group from nitrile, one side. Then we have carbonyl group instead of nitrile group. And on the right side, I'm going to put alkyl group from Grignard reagent. Again, we are going to rewrite the whole structure from nitrile. But instead of cyanide group or nitrile group, we put C double bond or carbonyl group. Then on the right side, we put the alkyl group from Grignard. The good things about Grignard is we can have primary, secondary, tertiary alkyl. We can have vinylic like this example. We can have cyclic and we can have aromatic. So that's why this method is very useful and important in chemistry. Next example, same thing again here. So I'm going to write benzene ring, then carbonyl group instead of nitrile. And on the right side, I'm going to put this group. So this is the carbon here and it has methyl group. So this is the product. Again, we have to convert cyanide to carbonyl group. 
Then I'm going to put this guru from Grignard on the right side. And it has also one method on para position. Next example, same thing again. It doesn't matter what is the groups on Grignard or on Nitrile. We always do the same thing. And then on the right side, we have a cyclopropyl group. So this is how we can make ketone from reaction of nitrile and grignard. Uh, right now, I'm going to explain two multi-step synthesis reaction for synthesis of ketone using this strategy in addition of this example. For the first synthesis question, I would like to see how can I convert propene to diisopropyl ketone. So as you can see on the left side and right side of this ketone, we have isopropyl. So we can easily make that isopropyl group from this propyl. So the key is I need to make one Grignard and one nitrile group. So first I'm going to add HBr. Regarding the Markovnikov rule, bromine is going to the secondary carbon and hydrogen going to the primary. If I perform a reaction between sodium cyanide and these two bromopropane. The cyanide group will attack and kick bromine out of the structure. So we will have a cyanide group here, or I can write it in this way to make it easier for the next step. I can also use some part of these two bromopropane for formation of Grignard. So magnesium is going between carbon and bromine and it make isopropyl magnesium bromide. So right now, I have a cyanide with the blue color and I have a Grignard reagent with yellow color. So if I perform reaction between these two, I need to read the radar structure, converting cyanide to carbonyl group. Then on the right side, I should put isopropyl group as well. So by using only propene as a source of carbon in this question, I'm able to synthesize this diisopropyl ketone. And the last question in this video is another synthesis. To answering this question, we should see that on the left side, we have butyl group. But the butyl group attachment is from the primary carbon, not secondary carbon. And also we have one extra carbon as a nitrile group. So let's say I'm going to add HPR again, but I would like to do it anti markanikov in the presence of H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. Then bromine going to the less substituted carbon. And we have one bromobutane. The next step, if I use sodium cyanide, SN2 reaction between cyanide and alkyl halide, I can easily make this nitrile so right now I have five carbon here and I have five carbon here. So if I add a Grignard like cyclobutyl magnesium bromide and then of course neutralization with acidic solution, I can easily convert it to this product. So it's not necessarily means uh, all carbon source should be from this molecule. Normally in synthesis question, we are able to use any organic molecule with less than five carbon. Thank you for watching this video. For watching more video, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.